here I will explain kernel items and non-kernel items. I will take an example. If S is giving DB and B is giving AB or B. We shall use augmented production here. S dash will give dot S. I will have to write closure of it. S dot uh, S will give dot BB and closure of B, B will give dot A, B or dot B. Yeah. And according to the definition of kernel items, initial item in which dot is at left, this is the kernel item. Okay. And other items in which dot is not at the left are non are kernel items and on non kernel items in which dot is at the left side left means here here and uh, after this arrow at the beginning after this arrow at the beginning after this arrow at the beginning we can also write this production as b is giving dot b so this is kernel item and this is all these items are non kernel items here dot is coming before this uh, after this after immediately after this arrow so these are non kernel items and if i read s here s dash reaches s dot so i am writing here kernel item here these items are non kernel items if s dash is giving s dot this is kernel item according to the definition now if i read s if i read b s gives b dot b because dot is not coming immediately after this arrow so this is kernel item if i read again b s will give b b dot it is not the immediately after this arrow so this is kernel item if I read A here, we will give A dot B. It is not at the immediately after this arrow. So this is kernel item. If I read B here, we will give A B dot. So this is also kernel item. If I read B here, we will give B dot. These are kernel items. So I am writing here kernel items. Okay. Now I will uh, I will discuss some uh, uh, grammar here, some grammars here to for uh, LR zero and SLR one parsers. Here one grammar is given to us. E is giving E plus T or T. T is giving T star F or F. F is given in bracket E or identifier. Now we shall have to use augmented production here. E dash will give dot E. Because this dot is before this E, which is non terminal, I will have to write closer of this E, then E is producing dot E plus T or dot P. Closer of E has been written. Now, I have to write closer of T. T is producing T is producing T star F. So, I have to write dot before this T and F. So, before this F, I have to write closer of F. F is producing dot open bracket E close bracket or ID. So, before this ID, I will have to use this dot here. Okay. Now, this is one state. If I read E in this state, I will. If I read this E, E dash will give me E dot, and if I read this E from this production, then E will give me E dot plus. This is one state. Now, if I read T, so 
here. If I read P, what will happen? P will give me T dot. This dot will come here. And if I read T in this production, then T will be giving me T is giving T dot star F. This is another stage. Now, if I read F here, F T will give me F dot. If I read open bracket, then F will give me open bracket dot E, closed bracket, and this dot is before this non terminal E, so I will have to write closer of E, closer of E is dot e plus t or dot t I will have to write closer of this t so t will give me dot t star f or dot f I will have to write closer of this f f will give me dot bracket e or dot i d this is one state and if I read ID, F will give ID dot. Dot is here. Okay. Now, this is over. Now I will show some traditions here. If I read plus sign. What will happen? E will give me E plus dot T. This dot is coming not before this non terminal T, so I will have to write closer of T. T is giving dot T star F or dot F. I will have to write closer of F because this dot is coming before F. F is giving dot in bracket E or dot I T. This is another state. Now if I read star T will give me T star dot F. F is coming, dot is coming before this F, so I will have to write closer of F. F is giving dot E or dot i d nothing to read here if i read e here e will give me f will give me in bracket e dot closed bracket and here e will give me e dot plus Okay. If I read T here, if I read T here, E is giving T dot and T is giving T dot star F. So this is state is here. I am making transition. T e is giving T dot and T is giving T star T dot star F, which is already been written. If I read F here, T will give me F dot. So, which is here. If I read this open bracket, what will happen? This dot will come here. Dot is coming here. And I will have to write closer of E, which has already been written. If I read this ID, F will give me ID dot. So, this transition is here. Okay. This is all about this state. Now, if I read P here, what will happen? E is giving me E plus T dot. And P is giving me T dot star F. 
this is one state and if I need f here t is giving me f dot t is giving me f dot so this transition will come here okay now if I need this open bracket this will come here so I am showing this transition here open bracket if I need this identifier this transition is here f is giving id dot ok now if I read f here t will give me t star f dot and if I read this open bracket then this dot will come before e which is this state open bracket if I read ID, then it will come be coming in this state. This is all about this state. If I read close bracket here, F will give me E closed bracket dot. If I read plus sign here, E plus dot T e plus dot t is here so I am showing this transition here plus sign ok here if I read this star this dot will reach here t star dot f so this transition will be shown here I am taking this star so nothing more is there to read and I, I will see how many states are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 12 states are there you can construct LR0 parsing table and SLR1 parsing table also I will tell uh, in next video what will be the SLR how will we construct SLR1 parsing table if you feel any problem you can drop your comments I will clarify those comments you can try it if you feel any problem I will help you